Welcome back, friends. I'm so excited to see you today. And this is our day nine of our self-love yoga journey today. And today quote I pick for you, I really love this one. Sounds like that, very short and very sweet. Who looks outside still dreams. And who looks inside, he wakes. If you think about it, who constantly looks for achievement, confirmation, outside will remain in looking because everything we need is already within so who looks outside still dreams and who looks inside or at least makes an effort to look inside he wakes so today for our practice i wanted to work with you guys on our ankles on our feet on our knees and on our hips so let's begin up here today just as we sit and I want to begin with a little opening for the hips and lower back so let's reach up and please share with me in your comments what happened with you yesterday over that week maybe you met someone maybe you taught someone what wonderful happened so made this life this week different for you so let's reach the hips up all the way and exhalation day back let's do it a few times if you can lift your hips of your feet this is totally fine you can also just simply work with the upper body stretches remain your hips on the on the feet and just kind of lift and open the heart let's do a couple more times reach up and let's do one more up and open freeze and slowly take it back guys let's open up our knees if you can't sit on your knees like that not a big deal just bring your feet up front and do what you can let's take our arms up and open and do it just a couple more times and let's take it up again in this time if you want to draw that arm behind your lower back towards the opposite groin area, do that. And let's think about that quote again while we're holding this asana. Who looks inside, who looks outside, he sleeps. Who looks inside, is awakes. That's right, you know, I can relate to myself very often because we all look confirmations what others will think about us, what other you prove or not approve. Let's open it up and you tell me if I'm wrong and then we realize that even someone's approve, it's not the true happiness because we're still looking for another improvement and another improvement. So, but true happiness is truly within. It doesn't come from possessions, positions, professions. We can have a most wonderful profession in the world, but still something can be missing within. So let's start to lift one knee guys in a time. And the key is here to shift the weight on top on the ankles, not the toes. So you support yourself with your hands a lot or a little bit, depend how strong your ankles are. And we're just waking up the top of those ankles. If that feels really, really easy for you, then definitely go ahead and take your both knees over the ground and see if that feels comfortable you can take your hands up front you can take your hands to support yourself please guys love yourself enough and don't do it continue to do one knee at a time if your ankles can handle it i really want you to get stronger and ankles really important for the yoga practices and if you're practicing while you're practicing my other long practices the daily yoga practices you will find that we work on the ankles a lot but i really want you to take little step by step so let's transfer the weight on the toes and you have to actually sit on the toes to repose from that asana and we straighten the feet right now and we straighten the toes and straighten the ankles if that feels guys completely comfortable then today i want to move practice our bird pose so let's take and sit back on one leg and extend your leg to the other side you don't have to place the toes down you just can keep lifted and we will begin our bird pose just simply supporting ourselves 
If that feels totally comfortable, you not arching your back, then go ahead guys and hover through the nose in, through the nose out, active heart, active body, active arms, keep on breathing. In through the nose, out through the nose, and let's think about what we can find within. All the joy, all the happiness is inside. Don't let anything else in this world to make you sad or make you frustrated. It's always a choice. You get to control to be sad, to be, to be laughing, cry, to be upset or to be happy. Let's take the other leg. Guys, support yourself or go ahead and fly. That bird can fly and hover right above, lengthening those arms. Breathe actively, guys. Oh, feels so good. Breathe in. In through the nose, out through that nose. Wonderful. Let's slowly return back. And we're going to extend one leg into the center, another inside. And let's begin with a bent knee. So bend your knee and press the quadricep towards the belly. And try to sit with a tall back. Like just you sit behind, like, like if behind me would be a wall and I can break the concrete. So keep lifting it. And then if it's going great, send that knee slightly farther back. Slightly farther back. Doesn't have to be super far, just a little bit. And of course, if you have a good range of motion, then we're gonna go ahead and just bind up here. Breathe actively. Ooh, feels so good. Then slowly extend that leg and bring it a little bit higher. You don't have to grab your foot. You can grab the ankle, the thigh, whichever is available. And then slowly bring it back. Let's switch the legs. Let's begin with a bent knee and make sure that you keep the heart lifted. Don't slow the shoulders. Bring the quadricep closer to the belly, to the ribcage. Hold it for a few breaths. And then gently push that foot, that knee behind, not to the side, not the baby cradle, but behind. And of course, if you have a good, bigger range of motion today morning already, then take the knee behind. Let's keep on breathing. And let's again think about that. Everything is inside. All the truth, everything you have ever looked for is already there. We just have to know how to reach there. And the first step is awareness. I think the first step is awareness. Let's extend the leg. That's what I always teach my students in the classes. And I truly think that acquire the awareness, it really takes time. But it's the best thing to acquire the awareness through the physical exercises, especially through the yoga. When you quiet, when you can listen, where the comfort, where is not comfortable, what can you change? And you truly listen in that silence within. And that's when discovery actually starts for me. So I want to hear it from you. How do you look inside? What can you find there? And what experiences you went through after you thought about that quote, for those who looking outside always sleeps, and those who looks inside awakening. So let's reach our arms all the way up. Big breath. Grab your boots, elbows. Connect with the elbows and give yourself a few little final nurturing stretches, lower back, middle back, upper back, our neck. And one more time, take the arms all the way forward, around the spine, relax your neck, take it all the way above the head or even guys behind the crown, do it one more time, and reach up, and forward, and reach up. Beautiful. Let's take the arms and connect them behind and just give that a good quality clasp. If you can clasp, just set your arms, send them behind and extend to reach, connect through the shoulder blades. Let's close our eyes just for the few breaths, just for a few seconds and look inside that heart. 
and find the true self within, the one which is always knows what to do, how to do, where to stop, where to push, what to say, the ones which is always joyful, always loving, always wanting to share, give and contribute to other people's lives. And let's open our eyes, reach all the way up. Let's remember again this wonderful quote for today so we can live through it together. Those who are always looking outside still asleep, and those who are looking inside awakes. So guys, have a wonderful day, awesome day, full of energy, full of, full of exploration. Please share with me what great happens with you today, and I will see you tomorrow.